when your app places a query for integrity check the play store servers they respond with an encrypted json string of base 64 characters a securely encrypted message cannot be intercepted by for example an android clone that intends to present itself as a good device in this tutorial we shall learn how to generate the encryption and decryption keys so that the response is securely decrypted inside your app let's open the app integrity page as we were discussing in the previous tutorial also scroll to the response encryption section the default setting is managed by Google as you are seeing here. Let's understand the difference between managing the keys through Google and through your own steps. The recommended method for the keys is to allow Google to manage your keys. When I was implementing the code in my own apps, I tried to follow the steps they have suggested, but things got stuck at the practical difficulties specific to my practical to my projects. So I had to abandon this approach and decided to follow the second option that is the manual option for generating the keys. Maybe this also turns out to be the case for you. So this is the reason why I am explaining these steps for generation of keys. Click on change, a new page opens. Select the option manage and download my response encryption keys. There's a form that asks you to upload a PEM file. Let's generate the PEM file now. A PEM file has to be generated by using an open source tool called OpenSSL. Their website is openssl.org. You will have to obtain the binaries of OpenSSL by searching the resources on internet. Make sure that you get them from a trusted website. Copy all the binaries in a suitable folder with read-write permissions. The two screenshots that you see are for the binaries I obtained from two different sources and I have collected them on my D drive which has read and write permissions. Our next step is to generate a PEM file called let's say public.pem. The easiest way is to create a batch file of any name let's say mybat.bat and containing these two lines of code that you are seeing here. Save this file and execute it. During execution you will be asked to enter the same phrase or pass phrase many times. This password should be known only to you. Keep it any string but do not keep it too obvious. You will be asked to enter the same string at many places. If things go fine then you should be able to see two files private.pem and public.pem in the same folder. Now come back to the play console page and upload the PEM file. Save the upload and as soon as you save it a file of extension .enc gets downloaded. Copy this file to the same directory as the openssl.exe. Next create another batch file called say mybat2.bat and type this script there. The variable enc underscore file contains the name of the file that you just downloaded from the play store. I will place this script in the description below you can obtain it from there. There is a link to the blog page also. You can obtain this script from that page also. During encryption you will be asked to enter the same password that you used during the first step. If everything goes fine you will be able to see a file called api underscore keys dot txt. This file looks like decryption key is equal to verification key is equal to. Take note of these keys. They will be needed at the time of writing our program in the next step. Thank you.